got to curate like an art yeah. an art exhibition that, that, that tours around the tours different galleries around Ireland. Like, why wouldn't you be excited about that? And then like, it's just I don't know. You just uh, you got your name to be put on a wall. Yeah, and in, the, and in the catalog and as well. Like, we have, just like you feel important. Yeah, we have the catalog now as like a, a memento forever, and it's kind of yeah. like our legacy. <laughs> <laughs> office in the OPW works closely with yeah. the Northern Ireland Civil Service and we have been working together since the late 1990s on a cross-border cultural project with this exhibition. This year's project is unusual because for the first time we had people from outside our collections and um, curate the, the um, exhibition and the students are from the Institute of Technology in Tower. Gentlemen, as the curator of the Courthouse Gallery, I would like to welcome you to this very special exhibition, Unfold, a joint art exhibition between the Department of Finance and the Personnel, Northern Ireland, the Office of Public Works. The exhibition is a selection of 30 artworks from the public collection, North and South, chosen by nine young curators from the Institute of Technology in Tala. This piece is Road Kills by Veronica Nicholson and it's a fabulous piece. The minute I saw it I kind of just fell in love with it. Um, I love the complete juxtaposition between life and death in it and how death is presented in such a beautiful and imaginative way because I'm sure when you think of a load of dead animals on a wall you certainly wouldn't think of anything as beautiful as this. Um, the contrast between the colours and the subject itself just really drew me in and I, just, I think it's a fabulous piece. I'd love to have it in my house. <laughs> have an art collection is an understatement. I believe that thousands of paintings. But it actually only goes out of Dublin three or four times a year, I believe twice in the south and twice in the north. So I think that this is a wonderful exhibition. It's a wonderful opportunity for this facility to further grow, uh, to further expand, and I sincerely hope the exhibition is the success I believe it will be. for about 20 years. Uh, it's our collaboration with our colleagues in, in the Department of Finance and Personnel in North of Ireland and we've, we've, I think we've become close friends over the years in running the exhibition. It, it, it has been really successful. Um, up to a number of years ago, primarily the exhibition was hosted in, in buildings in Dublin and in Belfast. We have a shift in policy in recent years to, 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 uh, to bring it to towns like Ennis Diamond, Clare Morris, Newcastle West, um, where I think it becomes um, a, a, a particular noteworthy event in, 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 in the smaller towns of Ireland. One of the big things this year, and it's been a big difference for us, is having a number of young curators pull the exhibition together. And uh, again, you'll hear something more, I'm sure, from the minister on that. And, and many of them are here this evening. Um, but seeing their faces coming up to Stormont Department buildings just a number of weeks ago, and seeing some of their paintings displayed in, in grandeur um, was, was incredible, especially to see the Rita Duffy picture, if you um, get a chance to see it, displayed underneath her famous portrait of Ian Paisley. And that was, that was actually quite staggering to see that together. Because of the small houses on the ground, that I just thought, yes, it kind of does make you think, because one, if I go for a walk through a forest, maybe if I'm doing photography or the likes of that, it, 
forces you to think, you know, maybe there's something more. Maybe it's not just immediately what you see, like maybe it's not just the forest with houses on the ground. Maybe it means more, like maybe that represents, you know, the entire civilization of the natural world underneath our feet that we don't think about. I, I want to particularly mention our collaboration with Rua Red Art Centre in Tala. And it gives me great pleasure to welcome again, and I've had the opportunity to welcome him at previous exhibitions, and some of the nine students from the Institute of Technology. And we simply wouldn't be here at this exhibition were it not for them. As the youngest minister uh, in the Republic of Ireland, I'm very proud to see such young curators involved in making this a reality. I think it's really important. Art isn't something that should be static, it shouldn't belong to one generation, it shouldn't be historic, it shouldn't be put away in some sort of safe. It needs to be living and often it needs the enthusiasm of some of our young and talented new up and coming people in this area. And I'd like to thank them sincerely for all the work that they've done. <laughs> started this project in the spring and they came to our offices in Dublin and they also went to our partners, the Department of Finance and Personnel in Belfast and we worked with them, we had meetings, we looked at artworks, they had very lively debates and then in a, in a very professional way um, they put together the exhibition so you know they had some discussions over I, I like this one, I like this one um, and then they made connections. As their ideas unfolded, as their experience of being curators and followed the exhibition unfolded. This is Andrew Butler's and it's just a diptych basically of two people as you can see and um, it just really struck me, it came, like, it's a, obviously a very beautiful piece but you can't, might not be able to see it but it's a piece coming apart but it's, it shows a man with two personas, okay? two personas there, it shows like through the different, through your daily life the different personas that you have to go through, you know you kind of have two faces of what you kind of see in there and it's kind of the battle to try and, your, find, try and find your one true self, you know, it's a beautiful piece by Andrew Butler. by Tom Dalton. Um, it's such an interesting piece because it's a triptych and it's not very apparent what it is or what the theme is. So I think it's really important that people can take whatever they can themselves away from it. Mm -hmm. uh, the artist, Tom, I actually met him at the opening in Rua Red. He said that this first one here was actually a happy accident, as he described it. Um, he said he was experimenting with printing and he thought that it was very reminiscent of this photograph. So he kind of put them together and then the piece came about. So he describes it as coming into being and coming undone, which I think is really interesting because it's not very obvious that that is what the piece is about. Mm -hmm. So you have to stand and you have to look at each piece individually and then look at it as a whole. So I think that this is most likely my favorite piece because I would love to own it.
This is Basil, it's by Basil Blackshaw and it's called Loch Ness Winter. And if you actually look at it, you can kind of see that this is kind of like a moon up here. But uh, in this gallery, it seems like this gallery is perfect for it because the moon kind of uh, pops out. Like I see it as a moon and my mom, when I was talking to my mom about it, she kind of sees a ship here. But the, the reason that I like it is like the brush strokes. Like the artist has this talent like of a technique to create these brush strokes that like makes this kind of aura that like I don't know it allures the well it allures me into the into the painting. The technique is amazing like but yeah overall I'd I'd pick it up emotionally. Like the the way that the it's just the brush strokes are really it's just I can't even describe it. The brush strokes are just like uh, um, like a magic because I wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> I <laughs> just like I just ruin it. Like he, like the fact that he even made it look like there's a moon even in there. Like you can see it a landscape, even though it's not a landscape. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? It's completely abstract but beautiful in its own right. table now and they were all pretty uh, uh, sure what they wanted at the beginning but I think they've also learned to appreciate contemporary Irish art. The original underlying theme when we started in terms of developing the exhibition was um, kind of the circle of life. That's where we started from. That was a starting point. But I don't think we can say that that's exactly what it represents now. They see what's happening uh, in, in, in Irish art at the moment. And they also came across a wide diversity of work. They saw paintings, they saw print, they see sculpture. We all picked out like five pieces, I think, and we all kind of had to put them up on the board. We all had to vote for them as well. So it that felt like we had to give our own presentation. Our own presentation. Of, yeah, like all the artwork that we wanted, and then you had to like fight for the reasons that you wanted that artwork, and then, but then we had to whittle it down because there was like folders like that size of like work. <laughs> pieces on a personal level and you pick out a few and then you put it to the group and then we'd vote and see where it fits into the overall exhibition so every piece here is justified it's not here for no reason and they, they, they got in touch with the artists they researched the catalogue so so they learned really the organization of an exhibition from the very outset to bring it to the venue
Thank you.